2005 in uh, a hot summer day in July. We were playing golf with a couple of my buddies and, and there was a group of gentlemen on a cart behind us and they asked to play through and they said hit your balls and then go stand underneath the tree. Well, the older gentleman got to the tee and we were under the tree and he ended up shaking the ball and they hit me in the back left part of the head. And it was kind of when you get hit so hard that your whole body just goes numb. I remember my mom coming to me and just being like, Nate, you're going to be fine, but it's going to be really tough. And so I, I just kind of prepared myself for a lot of therapy. And uh, like you said, it was, it was going to be a tough road. And um, that it was. And we were in the hospital for about three weeks. I started this running club in sixth grade where you, you would just run a couple laps and they would have a couple meets. And I ended up winning all the races that year by quite a bit and I was I just remember thinking to myself like wow like I I feel like different when I run like I feel like it's like an out of body experience like I'm just floating and so I was like hmm, maybe there could be a career there could be something here I think that was so important for me and my confidence you know my mom and stuff that played both uh, important roles but very different roles and my mom is more the disciplinarian and kind of the tough one. My stepdad plays my best friend slash my father figure and so and he seems to know exactly at what time to pull each hat. One quote I love is failure is not a destination and you don't you don't have to stay there. You know, you just gotta pick yourself up, pat pat yourself off. There's always gonna be people there for you and uh, just go and get after it. I always had a feel or a fear of, of failure for the longest time and I think you just get so much confidence from that community of sport as well and, and the adversity. I always go back to that because life is not straightforward. It's not a straight line, it's zigzagged, it's you know, I never thought I was gonna get paralyzed. I mean, that, that wasn't my plan, I'm sure that's in no one's plans. Uh, but you get these speed bumps and you just gotta take them as they come and that's just so important, you know. You have to, you have to be resilient and you have to be able to it adapt to the things that, that happen to you and that's I think one thing one of the fantastic thing about paraplegies is that we're so good at, at at adapting to things that have happened to us.